mnafanya kazi kwa duka ya material like no form of job <laughs> Oh, That's so funny. <laughs> because we are perfect in materials. Yeah, I th- Hello guys, welcome back to part 2 of the assumptions and stereotypes about Wagizomos. In this video, we are going to give you more details about the assumptions and the stereotypes that people make about the Wagidomos. In part one, we just stated, but now you're going to get the details and maybe kill your curiosity. So to begin with the first one that you said, the first assumption was that we are all Wagikuyus. As a matter of fact, all the people who put on turbans and wear long dresses with pleats are not all Wagikuyus. We are from all over the country, some being from the Western Kenya, the Eastern Kenya, so to conclude is that we are not all Wagikuyus. Yeah, we don't belong to the same ethnic group. The other assumption is that we are not educated, like we don't get formal education. Mm, I don't think that's true. Because we go to school just like any other people. Some of us don't even go to school. Others, when I end up on a drop. Yani, Nikama are just the normal people. It's just like any other society, they are the educated ones and the ones who are not educated, the ones who are educated and others dropped out on the way. So we get formal education, we graduate, we pursue our careers, we do the jobs, just like normal people do. Sure. Yeah. Then the other assumption of the, was that we are naive, Africanized, I'm in short we are washamba. And like we are not exposed, we can't like brush it off like Tuseme Atuko Ashamba or we are not Africanized. Anyway, are get, mm-hmm. it all depends on one's view of Ushamba. So we don't know. We'll say maybe Atuko Ashamba in some things and in others we can conclude you are Ashamba. But it all depends on how you view the term Ushamba. Yeah. Sure. The other assumption is that we are too extra-religious, such that we don't interact with the other people from the other religions. Actually, I'll say that's not true. Because we interact with them in many ways. We go to school with them, we live with them, tunakuwa mabeshte nao. Yeah. Tunaenda soko nao. Yeah. Yeah, we work with them in the same work environment. And life goes on. The other assumption was that we are too conservative. Such that we don't embrace change in technology. Or we don't move with the technology. Yeah, new quality. I would say that's yeah. not actually true because we use the phones, we watch TVs, we use laptops, computers. We just move with technology in short. Yeah, we are in social medias, the Instagrams, Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, we are not conservative. Well, the other assumption was that we can be trusted, like Tuneza Aminika. This assumption might be true, or I can say it's true, because if you if you see someone who has put on a long dress, you'll be sure that this person is good and you can trust them so easily. For sure, we're good people, and it's good that you trust us. The other assumption was that we are disciplined. Like to gonna adabu. Yeah, I would say like that's actually true because we'll you'll not find us in riots, you'll not find us beginning strikes, you'll not find us having starting bad influences to people. Yeah, as for by my view, I think that's true. Then there was this assumption that we are too humble. Like to menya care. Okay, I don't know how to explain it, but I think it's just self-explanatory by itself. Yeah. The other assumption was that we are God-fearing in that Tunam Chamungo Sana. Yeah, my reaction towards that, what I would say is that, yes, we've been born and most of the work, 
Corinos, like Wagizomos, have been born and raised in church. Just like the other churches, they are the, they are the kids who have been born and raised in the churches. But it all depends on how you received and perceived the doctrines of the church. Like there are those who are zingati sana, kuna wengine wana zingatia sana. The other assumption was that you are not exposed to worldly things. For this, I would say that it all depends on a person by himself or herself. Basically, on the definition of worldly things, it all depends when you may perceive. Yeah, because some may perceive it as partying in the clubs and doing this course. Others may perceive it as doing the jobs and the careers to earn cash. I think it all depends with what you mean by the worldly things. Yeah. So those were the assumptions and stereotypes that we made in part one. And still there are some people who added some more assumptions and stereotypes that people make about Wagidomos. So maybe we can list them down. These were the assumptions from the comments that people made from part one. And the one that was mostly repeated is that we don't use family planning. Like to Nazana Sana, we give birth, we almost fill in the world in short. <laughs> How do you react about, okay, uh, to that? No, I have nothing to say about that. Just, we actually have nothing to say about that. Or to comment, maybe later. Oh. Another assumption that was also stated is that we are antisocial. I think by saying we are antisocial, you mean we don't interact with people. And that's not true. We interact with people a lot. But still, there are some of us who are not social, just like you guys. It's life, and it all depends on one's character. Yeah, and there are, the, there are those who are extremely social, but others who are not yeah. social at all. Yeah. Another comment was that we were born Wakorinos and never had a chance to choose otherwise. Mm -hmm. Actually, that may or may not be true. Because, um... A reaction from the freedom and rights that we learned from school. One has a freedom of worship, right? Yeah, you can worship anywhere. Yeah, it's, anywhere you wish. You can yeah. change when, whenever you want. It's not that you are fixed at one point. You can change, you can still remain there. It all depends on you, how you feel about it. Yeah, if you feel you are just con contented with being, continuing to be a Mokorino or a Gidomo, then you continue. But if you don't feel like people change their denominations, it's actually. Life. Yeah. It's good. It's, yeah, it's Ikotawa. Yeah, another one was that Mukana Ushamba. I think that one was a repetition from part one. Another one was that Munafanya Kazi kwa dukaya matijo like no form or job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's so funny. <laughs> what did you, what, what's your reaction about it? So about that, I would say, <laughs> see it, see what we work in a material shop or in just some retail works. Some of us, although I'm not working, yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> it's not all of us who work in a material shop or how did they call them? Yeah, the material, look at your materials. Yeah, look at your materials, no. Some work there, others, what is a burger? Others, just like normal people do, others are teachers. Yeah, we others, are diverse in all careers. Yeah, they are everywhere. Yeah. Though, you can do the mobs and materials, you can do the mobs and materials. Because we are perfect in materials. Yeah, I think they just <laughs> trust them. I think they just trust them in, with the selling and the stuff. Yeah. Another assumption, another comment that was made is that we don't date people without to be lemur. <laughs> wow. Oh. Okay. Let's leave that for next time. <laughs> yeah. I think I also lack. I also lack a comment on that. The there was another. There was another comment, and the last comment that was made. Uh, I think this one you're not going to say it. Let me see it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, no, 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 no. Let's yeah. read it there for today. Yeah, we'll read it next time. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this. Maybe if you have some more assumptions or some stereotypes or just anything about Wagidomos that you need to know more, 
just comment down below in the comment section and we'll let you know yeah just stay tuned for more videos till next time bye, bye. <laughs>